back, everyone, live here at theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We've got a special insertion here <laughs> uh, off the program. Jerry Chen, Greylock, 10 years with theCUBE coming on. 10 years ago when the theCUBE first came here. Jerry, you were in the hallway. We didn't have any guest list. You was like, hey, you want to come up on theCUBE? So much, now we got three sets. We're going to do hundreds of interviews already. We're going to have probably over 200 streaming live, Love shorts, it. Instagram reels, data lake. The cube's expanded. You've been there from the whole time. It, the, the, it's like the it's like the the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> or the Cube Cinematic Universe. You know, it's a, it's a whole franchise. Congratulations and happy early birthday, John. Thank you very Thank much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know, I was just graduated high school when I first came to <laughs> AWS. Look, I want to get your thoughts. We're, we're going to do a quick segment here before AMD comes on. Um, got some great interviews with those guys. You've been here ten years. You're yeah. out in the trenches. Just Andy uh, Adam Selesky just talked to the VCs the investment thesis, economy, yeah. there's headwinds, tailwinds, depending on which side you're on, you're going to have a tailwind or a headwind. What's the outlook? What's your take of reInvent this year? AWS, the ecosystem, and the investment market. I, you know, I think it's, it's a great rebound. The energy's back when it was like pre-COVID, right? We're saying last year was kind of half the size and, you know, be post-COVID, but I think the show, the energy's great. And um, Amazon's just amazing, right? It's in this economy, what's going on right now in the world, they're still growing, still kicking butt. I think you're going to see a lot of both enterprise customers and startups start to worry about costs, right? Because I think Amazon is going to focus like, hey, how can they help the customers? But the economy for the next year, I think we're going to see some headwinds. So I think a lot of startups, a lot of customers will worry about costs. You're on the board of a lot of startups that are in the cloud. Rock Set's one we've covered. Great I think night. they're going to come on here too this tomorrow or today. Um, what's your advice on the board level? Uh, go to market, dial up, dial sure. down. What's the strategy? What marketplace? I mean, how do you give the advice to startups? What's the what's the north star? What's the what's the advice as, as the investor? Two or three things for most startups: um, hard ROI, like how can you save money? So all the kind of fluffy marketing value, you got to have hard dollar savings, right? Number one, if you save money, you'll do well. Number two, to your point, the marketplace is becoming the channel for startups. Because a lot of the large customers have deals with Amazon through the marketplace, so startups can sell through the marketplace to customers, because a lot of CFOs are doing no new vendors, right? It's getting hard and hard to get approved as a startup, so the marketplace becomes a bigger, bigger deal. What about existing ecosystem partners that have been around for the past 10 years? They're independent, they may have their toe in the marketplace, yeah. may not. Some of them not making their numbers, you're starting to hear things like maybe they'll be repivoting, people are tooling up. What's the advice for the existing ecosystem partners? Because they're either going to be like the next Databricks or kind of like maybe... Uh, Everyone's wounded. looking for the next Databricks, <laughs> right? Um, you know, I think for existing partners, you're seeing what's happening, John. Uh, deals are getting smaller, taking longer to close, right? It's just the reality of what's happening right now. And so for those partners who are saying, hey, uh, focus on the hard RI, be okay with a smaller land and just expand in 23, 24. So just get kind of creative of how you're working with customers. And I, like you said, I think marketplace is, is, is kind of a, a go-to playbook. So today, Ruba, the new leader of the, of the partner network, they merged yep. APN with the marketplace. They have now one coherent organization, not fragmented. Um, I was talking to them last night. They have more startups than ever before yeah. coming on board. So the velocity of new venture creation is up, up and to the right still, even in this economy. Um, and as they always say, the best time to invest is in a down market. That's like uh, VC 101, Entrepreneurship 101. What's your advice right now for builders out there looking for that round, trying to get some traction? The agility with the cloud still is there. You can still get time to value. You can sure. still get traction fast. That doesn't go away. What's your advice for the startups? Narrow, narrow wedge, right? So I think with like 5,000 new startups every single year, there's so much noise, John. You look across the expo floor, a lot of great companies, but a lot of noise. So I think. The more focused wedge you have as a startup and how you can land, deliver value, the better. Land with a very, very sharp wedge, expand over time, but just be very specific how you land. Awesome. Jerry, great to have you on. I know we want to make some room. I want to appreciate AMD for squeezing a couple minutes out of their hour and the next hour we're going to spend with them uh, for your sage advice. Um, final kind of new Insta challenge that Savannah put together, a new host. Insta challenge. Insta okay. challenge is if you had to do an Instagram reel right now oh. about reInvent this year, what would that Instagram reel be right now? I, would, I would do uh, the Expo scavenger hunt, right? We would have a race of different VCs. You give me a list of five companies, and the VCs can find the first five companies on the list wins the, wins the race. <laughs> I think that would be a great challenge. All right, what's the most important story this year at reInvent that you could share with the folks that, that you could share in terms of what's important, what they should pay attention to, or what's not being told? Well, I, I think you talked about your interview with Adam Slepsky, it's the solutions and the, what you call the next gen cloud, these higher level services. What um, AWS is doing around these services is super interesting. They kind of, don't say lead the way, but they respond to customers. So they lead the way by 
kind of following where the customer's going. And if when Slepsky and AWS are doing solutions, supply chain, et cetera, that tells you kind of where the market's yeah. headed. Next Gen Cloud, Jerry Chen, thanks for coming on. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in high tech coverage. I'm John Furrier. We'll be right back with more CUBE coverage. Day two, day three here at reInvent after this short break.